Hello! Oh, look at that golden glow. Look at this beautiful send-off Alberta has for me today. Welcome to the final stream from Alberta, from Casa Jaeger. Next time you see me, I'll be in Victoria. How exciting is that? After seven and a half months, we're back to the island. Farewell, farewell, Berta. It's true. The glow is a sign of encroaching instability. Oh, well, that's exciting. Next time, Casa Joe. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, good morning, everybody. I'm very excited. <clears throat> we have such a small move to do because, like, we only have what fit in the car. So we'll have uh, two whole days to do this. And then getting up at six, not even getting up at, on the road by six in the morning. <clears throat> Hopefully catching the five o'clock ferry. That means on the island, <laughs> including a time change. So uh, on the road by 6 a.m. means we'd be on the island for 8.30 p.m. Mountain time. So that's uh, 14 and a half hours. That's if everything goes according to plan. Who knows? Because we're driving through the Rockies in March, uh, which means who knows what it means. But I'm pretty hype. So yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Um, it's probably going to be, I'm going to say a full week. It could get rocky. Well, it, it could get snowy. It's mountains. Never mind. <laughs> hey, let's finish Pacific Drive, shall we? I'm probably supposed to hit play before I just go to this black screen because then it looks like I made a mistake, but it was all calculated. Rename them the Snowy Mountains. I didn't name them. Look, if I had named them, well, they're only snowy half of the year. Look, it's it's mountains are complicated, Abavis. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's like the Cascade Mountains aren't constantly cascading. They haven't cast a single spell for free last time I checked. Big rock, very complex, exactly. Anyways, hello everybody. So according to <clears throat> how long to beat, very reliable source of information, I know, this is approximately on average a 20 hour game and I'm about 17 hours in. So this was act one. This, the area between this wall and this wall was act two. And if you look at that, welcome to act three. Welcome to what is undoubtedly <clears throat> the beginning of the end, where I'm sure everything will be revealed. Are we a robot? That's my number one question. I think, I think that I'm a robot. Now, a reminder, this is a bit of a spoopy game, especially for me. So I've got my safety hoodie. So just, if you haven't been watching the whole time, know that some, it's not jump scare, it's not horror, but it is atmospherically tense. Now, that being said, look at our sweet ride. We gave our noble steed uh, the Guy Fieri treatment. <laughs> and uh, next stop is going to be Flavortown. Look at this thing. Isn't it incredible? So get ready for that. Uh, Joe needs me to hide my camera first. Well, I can't hide the UI. All right, give me a second here, y'all. Joe, Joe wants, Joe wants me out of frame for a second. There you are, my love. All right, this is for the YouTube playthrough. Wait, no, but then the, if I get too close, then the dot appears. All right, I'll put it in the middle of the orange. How's that, my love? There. One, two. Is there a photo mode? I don't know. Not that I know of. All right. Uh, there's a question. Is my Let's Play on YouTube? Yes! Exclamation YouTube. Uh, all of the VODs, Joe goes through and painstakingly cat uh, um, catalogs everything that we do. She does a really, really good job on that. So if you're curious about this playthrough and you've missed anything, uh, please go check it out there. Joe says it's up to date. Yesterday's video is already up. Oh, no, sorry. We're... 
So this is stream four, stream two went up the other day. So that's that's where we're looking at stuff. All right, um, pack a survivor kit. I, I def, wait, I have all that stuff in the car. Why are you telling me that I don't have one? I have jumpers in here. There's jumpers right there. I have putty. I've got so many ceiling kits. <laughs> Hope you have a safe and easy move back to Victoria. Thank you so much. All right. I am supposed to make a limb shield. There's a chance that I can't. Uh, there's a chance that we are out of materials. Nope. We are totally... F no! I need to make two circuit boards. Okay. Sure, the battery cost for this protective device is significant, but in retrospect, it was so obvious that the protection and then suspension of the semi-magnetized plasma ions and a rapidly oscillating spiner field would provide a substantial physical safeguard, like, duh. Same, though. Uh, so this looks like a bumper. Store the item in your trunk. Cross the old wall. We'll have the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall. All right. Time to go for a little uh, drivey drive, shall we? So we're going to go. What's over here? Tourists. What's over here? No tourists. That's what I like to hear. Um, what do we have here? Tourists. Ugh. What do we have here? Look at all these unrecognized hazards. Well, that's exciting. I'm sure that's all good stuff. Wait, that description for the limb almost works? Someone really thought through their sci-fi gibberish this time? Really? I, I definitely thought it was just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, so that's kind of cool. Hey, good morning, Lirazelle. All right, I could go a longer route and we could try and avoid tourists. Well, I get tourists here anyways, so maybe that doesn't actually make my life any better. Oh, that has lightning tourists? Never mind. <laughs> no. All right, uh, real quick, how are we looking? That's looking good. Any new quirks? Nope. Get your hoods up, my friends. It is time for an adventure. Oh, yeah, by the way. It bubbles! No way. Wow. Amazing stuff. This is going to be me. This is going to be Joe and I. 6 a.m. on Thursday. The car packed with all our survival essentials, except instead of, like, anti-ghost gear, it's going to be, like, two offices. <laughs> Are you a scientist, Wooga What do you, what do you do for work that you know how realistic that mumbo jumbo is? You are. God, why is this community so smart? I we have literal rocket scientists, literal actual scientists, and here I am afraid of of robots. All right. Uh what am I doing here? Uh we are here. Let's stop there first. Extreme conditions, heavy fog, and barely plugged. I'd like to not get zappadied. Afraid of leaves. <laughs> Keep those headlights off. Oh, you know what I didn't make? Everything is fine. Abby, I gotta ask. Were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? You want to know if I was involved? I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch that you 
all started to build. Yes, and we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. You can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us scientists. Oh, Tobias was never a scientist. Really? That's interesting. I assumed that they were... Wait. Wait. Who is Tobias? All right, there's no light in the mirror, so I can't see what's in that box. I thought all three of them were stranded scientists. Tobias was a janitor! Oh my god. I mean, it's kind of rude, but it fits, you know? Check for tourists. Burgle the orb. Oh, I'm in a storm. Storm came fast. I'm falling over? It almost blew my car over, chat. Good morning, Artemis Huntress. It's showing up again. Okay, things are getting pretty intense anytime I touch an orb now. Okay. Every time I touch a yellow orb, a storm lands on top of us. No more yellow orb. No more orb. I know that co correlation is not causation, but twice in a row? Fool me once, chat. Leaf me once. However, that was just that zone. That's Hurricane Squall. Oh yeah, great question from Joe. Did anybody in Canada see the Aurora last night? Oh, that's what Barely Plug does. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we forgot went to bed early last night. We did not see the Aurora Borealis last night. Hey, Scuba, did I thank you for the quarter year yet? I really appreciate it, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Have I befriended any ghosts? No, but I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Channeling that good old Ghostbusters vibe. I know, I'm sorry. Alright, so I want to go there. Uh, and I'm going to stop at this farmhouse. Harmful to humans. But I'm a human. Actually, let's maybe hang out here a little longer. I know that this one has tourists, and we all hate tourists. But... But I want that sweet, sweet material. I want the bigger backpack. fuel truck. Wait, that's a train. Ooh, a fuel train. Uh, let's get back onto the road. That's a tree. Good. 
concrete barrier came out of nowhere. What is that? That's an ARDA truck. I like that. That is so many tourists. And the, uh, the Bubblegum Brothers are around here too. I hate that. Yeah, keep on flying. Keep on flying. Oh, those are the fancy flares. That's why they don't stack. The tourists have red glowing in their chest. They always have. That's sort of their thing. There's two types of tourists. Those are the classic tourists, and then there's lightning tourists that have blue glowing in their chest. All right, uh, next stop is going to be at the crossroad. So my one critique of the way that the story is told is when I'm driving, I have a very hard time um, absorbing a lot of the story they're trying to tell me. And so I feel that like a lot of it is told through conversation and through narration. I don't necessarily absorb everything at that time. I wonder if other people have a similar experience while they were playing. And I mean, I know the game gives you the opportunity to go through and re-listen to everything. But that, I don't know. That's that may be the only miss I've had with this game. I'm really enjoying it. And I know there's supposed to be a lot of mystery, but I do feel like I don't know quite as much. Like maybe I've only absorbed 75% of what the, uh, the narration is supposed to be telling me. It's doubly hard to absorb it as a streamer. I, it's funny that you mention that because I feel that I, I do try and engage with stories a little bit more when I'm streaming than if I was just playing single player. Like single player, <laughs> I'm definitely that person who plays like Final Fantasy 14, skips all the cutscenes, and then complains that I don't know what's going on, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'll be like Ben Ben, or Triss, or Ku, or Narius. I got a bunch of friends who play 14. Somebody explained to me what happened. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but this one in particular, just the, the particular way that the, the story is being laid out is challenging for me. Uh, do I want these light bulbs? You know what? Sure. All right. Quick scan for danger. Is that an armored vehicle? Yes. And there's also tourists there. All right. Oh, I also want lead. All right. Sorry. Quick, quick scan for danger. Uh, do I also want... I do want that, but that looks too dangerous. All right, I want the lead. Heresy. I, look, I don't have time to watch every single cutscene, especially the ones that aren't voice acted. Oh, can't do it. Yeah, no trouble digesting this game in, even with the radio a blast in. Interesting. I get on the lead. You have the same experience when driving? Sure. So I definitely notice the difference in fuel efficiency between the two cars. Let's head up 
here. I should probably be turning the ignition off, if I'm honest. Oh, they're closer than I thought. Oh my god. Hate that. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Word Nerdify, what's up friend? Thank you so, so much for the 36 months. Enjoy your brand new bean. Really appreciate the support. Uh, hate that weird ghost thing flowing in the sky? No. No, 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 no. And it's called a pickpocket, which means it's going to try and touch me? No. No, no, no. too close. I see you coming, creeping up on me. I'm not really looking for tips, but thank you. Happy just kind of puttering around at my own pace. Twenty hours into the game, vibing. In my own lane. Hey, good morning, Mama Tats. Bye. Ooh, a ceiling kit. Pardon me. A ceiling kit is a very good get. Da da ba da ba da. You weren't there before. Load enough items into your car to fill 150 spots. Wow. Oh, there's the... You know what, actually... That's way too far to run on foot.
I've got a new plan here. I've got a new plan. Uh, and the plan is I'm actually going to open the door before I grab the orb. Okay, storms are coming. Morning, Milk. Get on this road. Take a right here. Now we're cooking. This game is creepy. Yeah, a, a little, you think? Why do you think I've deployed the safety hoodie? For fun? It's warm. I'm toasty. You're very easily scared. My worst jump scare this whole playthrough has been from a leaf milk. <laughs> you and me both. You and me both. I feel like we got some pretty good stuff out of this level. We didn't get any uh, more tree crystal or swamp coral. Full send. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a very creepy leaf. That is fair. It was, it was the most perfectly positioned leaf ever. All right, we threw. This game is very cool to watch, but I'm too chicken to play it. Wait, can I say me too at this point? <laughs> it promised to leave me alone. Did it? All right, all right, all right, everybody. Uh, we are about to go into the spooky zone. I just need you to be prepared for this. Now, the good news is... Unless those little explodey things right there and there means new type. Oh my god, there's new types of tourists. There's double tourists. Oh, we haven't met them before. We're going to be so brave, everybody. So brave. Bellatro is safe. You know, I actually uninstalled Bellatro milk. I found I was... I was not engaging with that game in a healthy manner anymore. I had to put it aside. I was like, if things weren't going perfectly, I was just getting frustrated. <laughs> I was like, no. It's a very good emote, PN55. Thank you. I am so brave. They call me the bravest streamer on all of Twitch.tv. Oh, you're the one that's brave, Jackie? I see how it is. Old Wall Crossing at the Smokestacks. You're not the first to try crossing the Old Wall since the anomalies moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. First, to get through the Old Wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Turns off headlights. Now, connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. This is new. The Devil Grinder. I don't remember this part of the Pacific Northwest, but I'm sure it's real. Oh. Why didn't anybody tell me that both of my back tires were flat?
This is just the Okanagan in fire season. Wow, you're not even wrong. Yeah, actually, hold on. This is just the interior in the summer. Oof. <laughs> Did I miss my turn off? No. Oh my god. Tour bus? Oh, you got closer than I was prepared for. Tour bus. When they say bus is coming, this is not what I had in mind. Is there a road here? Where is my road? Oh, safe haven. Oh. Wait, why didn't this activate? Oh, no, 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 we good. We good. Um. Why isn't it charging my car? Resource. Beach ball. I don't read chat. I believe you don't read chat. You know what? You and me both, Snurge. You and me both. Chat has just been AI generated for the past five years. That explained a lot, actually. Hey, what's up, Transmuted Elf? Thank you for the 27 months. Hope you are having an amazing day. So I'm going to assume that my car is fully charged, which is what's happening, which is why everything here is perfect. Probably shouldn't have left it idling. So where does it want me to go here? Flip the switch in tower one. Flip the switch in tower one. Where's tower one? Am I at tower one? Hold on. Y'all. I'm at... That's so... Go in there and flip the switch, huh? Or is this tower one? I 
I missed the switch up there? Ah. <laughs> sure did. Oh, I see. It brought down a, a barrier there. That makes a lot of sense. Install a functioning limb shield to ensure a safe crossing. Oh, I understand. Wait, which one is which? Limb shield? No. The fact that there's a limb pulse emitter and the other one is a limb shield is uh, not great. Okay. Uh, link. So, hold on. I need, I need a hand here. I need to make sure I understand what's going on. I need to activate the limb shield and then drive through that. Is that correct? Or am I, am I misunderstanding something right now? I don't want to die and lose everything, you know what I mean? Basically, yes. So there's nothing else I have to do? So I want to turn the car on. I want to hit F, which is going to activate the limb shield. Repair the car first. No, that's, that's not what I asked. <laughs> that's not what I asked. No, 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 no. That goes outside the scope of the question. All right, I'm going to try. Interesting. Okay, so the yellow things keep us charged. So this is basically one of those games where I follow the yellow things. I understand. Tobias, how's the power route? Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I've told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis, levels are good. Holding steady. Circuit complete. Keep it up. Sick. Very interesting. Okay.
can't scan that. Okay, good to know. Ooh, dumpster pearl. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. We got a little, uh, little glowy glowy on the outside here, eh? Okay, top of the car. Good. Happy almost moving day. Thank you, Tara. The Combat Wombat. What's up, friend? Thank you for 58 months. All right, let's go upstairs. Link gate 2A, B, C, and D. All right. Starting to get a little bit low on some stuff, so I'm taking a little bit more time here to do a little bit of looty looty. We'll keep going. All right, how are we looking? We've got. Our headlights are yellow, our back door and our back bumper is yellow. So let's do a little bit of a touch up right now. Blip. Blip. You're on vacation, I wanted to drop in and say happy move. Thank you very much. Hope it all goes easily for Joe and you. I, right, me too. <laughs> Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. A freak snowstorm happens, and they close the mountain highway. I don't know why I just put that energy into the world, but that is something that we have to consider for our drive back. All right, everybody. Hood's up. You ready to keep going? Let's check the route here. Oh, I understand what's happening. Okay, we have to go serpentine. So for whatever reason, we do this, and now we do this, presumably, and then we do this, and then... Profit? Profit. So many people, you know, we're moving in two weeks. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I understand kind of what they want us to do. We got a full tank of gas. <clears throat> the power of God and anime are on our side. Let's go. Oh, we got a flat tire front left. Hey, I'm working on it here. 
See, like what they're trying to tell me here, I have no idea. Why are they? Why are they giving me lore now? Let's go, Tobias. No, 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 no. No profanity. Get out of here, you hosers. We don't swear here. Stop it. Apologize, everybody. Please stop getting closer. Stop that. God, they're getting closer. Stop. Diagnose my flat tire now. Oh, it's cooked. Oh, no. Bald. Bald. Ceiling kit. Hold. This one that's getting closer. Where are my... Um, um, where are all my flares? so bad. Can we not just leave? I want to fix my tires before we leave. Right? So I believe I have a, a one spare on me. Why'd I only bring one spare? Do I have another spare in the back? Can I build a second spare? Uh, I'm missing a gear and one rubber. Gears EZ. Uh, one rubber. Maybe, maybe we get there in here. That's a rubber. That gets me another tire. I'm 
No! Okay, I'm hosed. It's fine. Bald isn't bad. Buckets. How bad is a bald tire? Everything is fine, right? It's not like it's flat. Wait, that's exa Yes, it's better than a flat. It's better than a flat. Alright. Uh, you know what? I think we're good. Wait, did I leave it running this whole time? I sure did. Good job, Surge. Alright. Let's try this again. OP just cut their radio? Oh. Tobias! Okay, so Tobias is probably not a robot, is what I'm understanding from this. You know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Car's in good shape. Francis, I need you back at the control board. The minute Tobias reroutes that line, you need to push the connection. Miss it by a fixed second and we lose the entire power grid. Tobias! Francis, it's now or never. <clears throat> I'm rewriting the grid now. I'll be for you. Oh, there's some corrupt team over there. Uh, I'm not going to grab it. But it's neat that it's there. That's the first time I've seen the, the, the corrupt team. Punch it, Chewy. Stay with us. I got you on me. Friends. <laughs> what do you know? One time. Hi, Molly. Big emotional crescendo here. Crescendo? Peak? That's the word I'm looking for.
How are we looking? Two yellow components. We've got a yellow door. And then we've also got a yellow mini turbine. A little lo the mini turbine's getting a little cooked. y'all time for the final hurrah actually where do I go from here sorry oh we're here oh we're leaving the zone okay I think this means we're entering this is what gets us into area three, I guess. All right, hoodies up, friends. Drive an exceptional distance. Wow. Wow. And here we have it. We are now inside of the oldest area. We don't know nothing. We don't know anything about what's happening in here. Welcome to the smokestacks. Ooh. So many questions, so few answers. We're here. We want to go here. Those looks like some big, big things. All right. The entire area got scrambled in instability. I'm afraid, Tobias. I told you. I, I, I told you, didn't I? We weren't ready. We should have planned it better. We, we, we should have known. We did the best we could. No. Do not give me that. If we had He'd be here with us. I'm sorry, but we've got to help the driver. Don't you dare. What? Wait, is this how you dealt with Alan's death? You just you put your head Whoa. in the gaps? Actually, that's precisely what I did. And you'll recall the breakthrough in self-healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well, good for you. I'm sure Alan would have been very proud of you using his death that way. You know what? That whole pep talk I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. That's precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. It's worth the sacrifice. Stay late. Don't worry about me. Finish your work and we can start a family. <laughs> Always. Well, things are getting real right now. Crap. So why'd you say it to me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... I can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day, I still think about how if I had left the zone we had planned to, I wouldn't have lost Alan. I thought, I hoped that Lim Tech was done killing our own. I'm sorry about Tobias. Tobias is... was... All I had. I, uh, <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Little buddy. Stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. Oh, that's got none fuel in it. Okay, neat, good. Actual none fuel. Uh, do you have a tire I could grab? As a completely destroyed off-road tire. Now we're cooking. 
All right. Yeah, and another perfect condition tire here. Love that. Oh, we're going to keep the bald ones just in case. Uh, I think there might be another. That one's flat. I don't think I care about that one. All right. Okay, I want to get moving pretty quick here. Uh, let's get to the stabilizer next. And then let's... Maybe grab one of those giant thingies and then let's dip. This area doesn't look too scary, so I feel a little bit confident exploring it. Get that corrupted energy. Uh, there is no corrupted energy here. Those are sealed portals. That's not corrupted energy. I've got the coolest decal objectively. Thank you. I too am a big fan of the swagon. <laughs> Probably mean the ally one. Ooh, I can get more uh, red balloons. The sound in this game is very weird. What is this route? I want to go left, and then I want to go left again. All right, so we're going to hit a crossroads. And then we want to go left at the fork. Oh, there are friends here. I hate that. There's going to be a road to our right, so we're going to take our next right. Is it just me, or does anybody else find it weird that rebar is growing out of the earth like uh, like grass? Is that is that normal? You think that's normal? Tell me if that's normal, little bobblehead buddy. Completely normal. Okay. Hey, a fuel truck. Love that, actually. Sorry, real quick. Am I safe? According to American Heart Association. How's it going? All fueled up. We're all safe. It's good. It's an enormous garbage pearl. That is the biggest garbage pearl I've seen. Why is it so big? Surge is moving. Congrats. Thank you. Okay. So we want to follow this road. I'm going to use the word road very generously here. 
Stabilizers activated. That road's looking a little treacherous. Yeah, this whole game. This whole game, a little treacherous. Okay, storm is coming in. Oh, buckets. Oh, buckets. Uh, apparently, it's time to dip. <laughs> All right, we're taking this bad boy off road. Come on, Swaggin. Come on, Noble Steed. Oh, jeez. PZ, PZ. Oh. All right, get ready for some more lore. Welcome back. Now we know where the well is, but you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over 15 years. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map a way to the well as it is. Huh. Chart new roads. Alright, how bad did the car get beat up? You know what? This is coming out in pretty good condition. Other than the fact, of course, that our mini turbine is spent. That armored panel is spent. You know what? All things considered, not bad. I think I'm going to leave those as fragile just because we did our sweet new paint job. <laughs> All right. Um, quick bio break. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got to run as well. The American Heart Association stopped by and said hello. What an interesting day. I also like that they have a Twitch channel. All righty. Let's deposit our sweet, sweet loot, shall we?
Do you think we need a limb shield anymore? They probably tell me if I need a limb shield anymore. Oh, uh. Alright. <clears throat> Let's figure out what we got inside of the pearls. Let's grab the big one as well. That's not a pearl, that's a tire. Well, you know what? This tire can also get shredded, right? <clears throat> okay, the tire was full of rubber and scrap metal. Good, good. Just as we drew it up. The pearl is full of steel and scrap metal. Oh, we got some flares. Okay. A new spray paint color. Some good stuff. All right, let's check out this big pearl. Uh, big pearl. Chemicals. That's good stuff. Now, we had big, big pearl, right? Big, big pearl. Big pearl. Oh, did I just shred one of the good spare? No, 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 no. That's the good spare tire. Okay. Hold on real quick. Not today, Deckel. Interesting. I'm almost completely full of paint. I'm completely full of paint. Interesting. Alright, let's get rid of this tire first. Uh, and now we need to shred... Now we need to shred the big, big pearl. I've never seen such... Look at the size of this pearl. Look how much of the screen it takes up. <laughs> Alright, steel. Good. <clears throat> Flares, okay. Scrap metal, okay. Batteries, sure. And a spray paint, interesting. Alright, you think we got enough steel, y'all? Nah, that's fair. Can I get a larger paint station? There's a question. The detailing station. There is no large paint station? The pneumatic locker. But I can't make the paint station bigger, eh? Huh. I guess I just get a different locker. All right, I'll see if I can get one that's close to it, maybe? Where's this one go? Outside? Wait, I have to store stuff outside now? Well, that's not fun. All right, friendly dumpster, what you got for us? I was actually kind of hoping that the pearls would have more of like the unique zone materials, um, uh, specifically the coral. Time to do farming runs? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. The issue is not the materials. The issue is the uh, the modifiers on the map. 
my willingness to maybe my inventory is full. My willingness to um, put up with my desire to get coral is off put by my <laughs> desire to get nowhere near tourists. So, you know, it's a push and pull relationship. Definitely feels like the sort of game that I'm going to beat before I uh, unlock everything. And that's okay. I do like that it gives you a reason to sort of keep going if you want to. Oh, we got... Hey, uh, Shark Face came back. That's very exciting. I am actually kind of hype about that. Okay, what do I want to do? I kind of want to go into here and grab all of the decals I'm probably never going to use. Like, I have six numbers decals, for example. And we can put all of those over here. Notify. Like, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven number decals? That's way too many. <clears throat> All right. So, the other thing I've discovered is I'm not really. Now that I'm like actually trying to paint and decorate stuff. Oh, look at this. Hold on. My off road tires. Wait, did the off road tire also get rid of the flat? I think it did. Oh, that's huge. Let's make sure we have two spares here. That's a little bit of science we did before. Awesome. What I'm here is more decals. I'd like I don't want to necessarily rotate through parts to put them in here because then because the decals are so specific to a spe like a door or whatever, then it looks bad, right? So I don't think I'm ever using that again. I think I'm just making a brand new one. Well, maybe all right, we pull this one off. And then I paint that specific panel, I guess. But I'm not going to, like, rotate through all of them. Because, like, what do you look like? You're hideous. <laughs> all right, so I need the paint stripper first. And then I need... Well, what's the base color? It was black with fire, right? Then we spray paint it matte black. And then we hit it with the flames. Guaranteed to make it at least 50% faster. Yes. All right. Any other issues we're having here? How am I ever going to get to Flavortown if I keep having to reuse all of my stuff over and over? It's very upsetting. It's very upsetting.
I hear that Guy Fieri's restaurant in Vegas is actually kind of legit. Has anybody here ever gone? I would love to visit Flavortown one day. His restaurants are not great. Oh! The New York one is notoriously mid. Okay, pardon me. I stand corrected. His restaurant in the Burbank airport is a culinary toilet seat. That is the most beautiful phrase I have ever heard, Molly. Thank you. Wow. Why did I... Why... Why did I think the way that I did? Mini turbine. You can't eat ironically. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Turns out irony is not delicious. Wow. All right. Neat. Very neat. Well, then. Are there celebrity chefs at restaurants aren't mid or worse? Huh. I had an avocado toast to Guy Fieri's Burbank Airport toilet hole, and the tomato was somehow grayer than the avocado. Woo! <clears throat> All right, well then... What is your what is your favorite celebrity chef then? Theoretically, if I go to Vegas and I have an opportunity to walk up and down the strip and I can visit, you know, famous Vegas celebrity chef restaurants, who should I who should I go to? Which one is not famously mid? Ramsey and Blumenthal. I don't know how to pronounce the second one. Are good? <laughs> Go to China Poblano. It's a place, not a chef. Okay. The Ramsey Burger is not bad. Do I want it? Man. I don't know if I want a hamburger from a high, like a, a celebrity chef though. If you order guys trash can nachos and eat them, your body has to deal with the consequences. I'm going to be honest. The trash can nachos kind of looked like an experience. Like I, I didn't plan on doing anything after that day. You know, you have the trash can nachos and then you have a, a trash can nacho nap, right? All right. Can I make two more ceiling kits? Did I bring back enough stuff for that? Oh, yeah. We're, we're cooking. Interesting. I had no idea. All right. Let's take a look at the clothing section. Aha! I can make the carbon fiber shirt now. I did not collect enough balloons. Shocking. I need more plasma and more rubber. Okay. Ooh, the acid raincoat is available. I got enough tree candy for that one. Uh, now I would need six carbon fibers. We're not quite there yet. Uh, the grippity gloves I can wear now. Oh my God, 220 marsh eggs. Oh, the anti-theft backpack. Let's go. Swamp coral. God, I need like 500 swamp coral. Okay, I see how it is. All right. Swamp coral. There's a taco truck from Danny Trejo. That's legit. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
Can I upgrade the crafting station in my car? I don't know. The expander matter regenerator. Improved acoustic following allows for more capacity. Repairs more parts simultaneously. I don't want to repair things anymore. Experimental charging station. No. Uh, does not look like it. Maybe. Hold on. Let me try the car section. What's this? Augmented trunk storage. No. Fuel synthesizer. An impressive combination of limb chemistry and advanced filtration. This battery-powered device effectively creates gasoline from various environmental substances. Oh. Drains my battery but increases my fuel consumption, I think is what that does. I mean, I can put in another seat rack, and I can put in another roof rack. Alton's Brown take on running a restaurant is fascinating. They almost always fail. The money's not good. The impact on health is too high. He said if he would ever run one, it would be a greasy spoon and not have his name anywhere near it. And serve like 20 kinds of pie. Yeah, restaurants. Restaurants are not kind on humans. It's, uh, they're tough, man. Shout out to people that can make a living and a career as professional restauranters. Because, oof. <laughs> All right, time for a second roof rack. All right. So back here, I can put another another module in. I kind of want to make another gas tank or something. I don't like how my gas keeps getting low. So my thought is back seat tank. Gives us another 25 capacity. The safest and most interference place to put this may be the back seat, but it sure makes the car reek of gasoline. Furthermore, it's somewhat limited in capacity, being half the size of a regular tank. Oh, expanded backseat tank. Oh. Let's take a look at that one. What is the expanded backseat tank? Is it safer? No. Is it larger? Yes. Will it continue to generously disperse the heaty, intoxicating odor of gasoline? Oh, you know it. Incredible. Uh-oh. Alton doesn't pay union rates on his show, so I can't imagine his restaurant would be paid well either. Oof. <laughs> Dang. All right, I don't have enough rubber for that. Ah. Uh, okay. Roof gas tank. That seems like a surefire where to die. All right, so we got more gasoline. Feels good. Let's see if I can do one more roof storage. What do I want? Yeah, let's do another roof storage. Ghostbusters did fine with a nuclear reactor on the roof. Did they? Did they go fine? I don't know about that. XL roof storage. I I cannot. I'm out of stuff. Okay, that's fine. We'll put something on there later. I'm starting to run low on materials. All right, uh, let's check our supplies really quickly. So, I got two spare tires. Love it. I've got this upgraded plasma scraper, which we're going to go to next. 
I've got a liberator. Uh, I don't have a, I have a ton of torches. Good. I've got backup food. Uh, where are my first aid kits? Are they up top? My first, I only have one first aid kit. That's a problem. Let's get two more first aid kits. Let's get one more first aid kit. Okay. Uh, we are starting to run low on basics and starting to run high on everything else. Let me out, please. <laughs> this is like plastic and electronics and stuff. What do I get from this? Plastic and electronics. I need rubber and fabric are the big ones that I need right now. But again, there's a chance that we... Well, we have a chance. We're doing a big run right now. It could be that we just win before any of this is relevant, but you never know, right? You never know. Excuse me. All right. Any other quirks? <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, uh, we got two new quirks. That's exciting. All right. Time for a little, little bit of Q&A. Wait, QA, not Q&A. How many quirks are we up to now? Six. No, that's, that's normal. That's perfectly ordinary behavior. What happens when you got a booty like a dumpster is when you get out of the car, you knock a door off if it's open. All right? That, <laughs> that, that is intended behavior. The door is loose on the hinges uh, to make room for my absolute monster barrier end. Okay? <laughs> Do I have a higher fuel consumption quirk? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I also have a higher engine. So we could test. Fuel drains quicker when any car door closes. No, I do not have any fuel drains quicker quirks. Unless, wait, hold on. Unless it's the other way around. So any car door <clears throat> is opened, fuel consumes faster. No, all right. So fuel getting consumed faster is neither a cause nor an effect. Is thick dunk a feature or a quirk? Why not both? So it's not fuel drains. Um, it's not fuel drains or fuel... Uh, sorry. Anytime something is correct, it'll show a smiley face. So it's not that we have fuel... Consumes faster fuel drains. It's zero out of four. So fuel is not related to anything there. I didn't test the horn. <clears throat> The wipers and fuel gauge move together? That's known.
Does Horn turn the car off? The car was already off. Car's perfect. I don't know. Let's uh, let's hit the old road. We'll figure it out while we drive. All right. So I've been told to start mapping the zone, which is kind of interesting. Oh, check this out. We can try and get up to here. Uh, and you know what that gives us is, well, let's find out. Hood up. Hood up. I could go this way. Can I go that way? No. Wait, yeah, I could go. Can I? It says I want to go here first, which is odd to me. I kind of want to go one, two, three. But this way I go one, two. Shocked tourist. Oh, my hate. Ugh. Moldy balloon. Sap compressor. Twisted ember. Uh, I don't see... I don't see coral there. Whatever. I'll just follow the route. I want to go... Ideally, I go here, here. Coral and Marsh are left side. I thought sometimes it was just random. Oh, it's always in the same biome, eh? Well, I'm not going that way, so that's fine. <laughs> I mean, if we do go left side, actually, if we go left side, then we dodge a lot of these storms. What if we try and go this way instead? We go here? Crackling crawler. Hey, you know what we don't have there? Tourists. You know what we don't have here? Tourists. <gasps> oh, wait, no, we have a tourist. Dang. Tourist tour bus. hate that for me but we dodge the the spooky storms all right uh what's our checklist do we have everything we need we've got two spare tires we've got six kits we've got two spare fuel tanks we got putty we got first aid kits uh we've got this limb shield two electric kits i've got two electric kits as well yeah I got battery jumpers. I've never needed to use one of those. So, no, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're laughing. God, we have so much storage space. All right, we need to do a little bit of looting. Found a quirk. Back it up, everybody. Oh, God. Not like that. Uh, no. Honky did not turn off the headlights. Oh, my goodness. What is happening right now? Okay. I am struggling is what's happening. Can't see my other mirrors. That's not safe. Anyways, I discovered a curve. I, I did not know. Wait, hold on. Nope. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did not know that there was an interior light, which is very funny. But... 
turning on the radio. Radio on. Dome light on. Is that not right? Hold on. Toggles? I thought we tried toggles. Didn't we? All right, hold on. So, radio, toggle, dome light, toggle. So, it likes radio, dome light, and toggles. Stays on? Now it says radio no toggle. Oh. There we go. Boop. All right, we got one. Nice. Uh, and all it cost me was... A booty. Stays on is weird to me because it's... Mom. Welcome, 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 Raiders. How you doing? Thank you for the cookie raid. All right, we're going this way. <clears throat> Get your safety hoodies ready. This one's not too scary. You know what? I'm not grabbing that. Teal? Nope. Blue? Nope. Beige? Heck no. Ooh, the castle. Uh, flare gun is back. shoot tourists with it, but then I have to have a gun. I kind of like that this game doesn't have a gun. You know what I mean? I've enjoyed that this game isn't like that. I made a mistake. If you're like me and you hate going to the dead... Yeah, 
let's go. Spare summer tire. Ooh, they gave us the gift of a liberator. Wait, you think uh, when we're airborne, we honk? So the, gar the car was automatically honking there from a different anomaly. Wait, where'd my song go? Wait, when I park? Hold on. When we accelerate, the radio turns down. No! Our tunes! Alright, we found another quirk. When we accelerate, the music turns down. Devastating. Oh, I can't believe the game would do us that dirty. <laughs> when we accelerate, the radio turns down. Let me just turn the car around right now. That would be a very bad one for Joe and I when we're driving. I mean, mind you, the radio, there is not a lot of good coverage when you're driving through the mountains and central BC. And just to let you know that right now. Just drive in reverse. Now we're talking. That house is haunted. We're not stopping there. I think I get more loot out of trucks than I do from stopping at houses anyways. So maybe I'm just gonna stop going to houses. Houses have fabric and like suitcases and backpacks and stuff, which is kind of good. But for the most part, the loot's kind of underwhelming. So I listen to a lot of terrestrial radio. I love, you know what? Driving around, just listening to CBC and community radio is kind of a bop. But also, like, driving through, driving through the mountains, you don't have cell phone signal either. Only thing you might have is if you pay for, like, satellite radio, but we don't have satellite radio. All right, I'm going to stop here for orb. Uh, malfunctioning mess. I don't know what that means. You download a lot of podcasts? Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I don't tend to... prepare in that sort of way for road trips. I, like, I had a buddy loved audiobooks on road trips. That, that ain't for me. He says, struggling to keep up with a story. <laughs> That's narrated while you're driving. Downloaded YouTube videos. Like you watch YouTube videos while you're driving? It seems dangerous. Hold on, what's going on over here? Oh, just listen to them? Yeah, that's fair. But I, mean, I guess there's a lot of... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, the crackling crawler. There's a lot of, um... Hey, get off. Get out of here, you hoser. Like, very podcast-like YouTube content anyways, right? What did you miss in the last hour? Oh, um... There was a big... We had a big plot moment, Artemis Huntress. So you might have missed that. Just follow the road and take a left, and we done so. Podcasts are annoying because I can't guarantee the other people want to listen to it. Well, that's considerate of you. All right. I'm going to stop and fill up here. When I logged off, people were saying bad words on the radio. Uh, we lost one of our companions, which was very sad. Tobias sacrificed himself to make sure that the power grid didn't fail while we tried to get through all of that, which was very sad, actually.
Yeah, the bad words were kind of unexpected. Apologies. Do we know any of the new quirks? We solved one. One quirk was when we turned on the radio, it also turned on. I didn't even know we had this. It turned on the car inside, the car light inside. <laughs> uh, and the other quirk is when we accelerate, it turns down the radio. So both of the quirks were related to the radio. Too close. Let's try let's try parking here. And then I actually want to run back this way. You didn't even know there was a dome light? I didn't either. Prior to that, I had no idea. Okay, the science laboratory, even if it's a little bit toxic, normally has good stuff. So we got rubber duck. Interesting. We got rubber ducky, which is good. Uh, we need rubber. The other stuff that we're getting here, I don't actually think I care about that much. Pressurized canister is good. Yowdy. Has this intensive training prepared me for my move? Uh, I have learned that tourists are bad, which is, you know, pretty relevant when you're driving through Banff National Park. Uh, to keep a distance from them or they'll explode. And that I should always keep my eyes on them. I think so. I think we're doing, I think we're going to do great when Joe and I do our drive together. Is it heading straight for my car? That's extremely rude. I throw flares at tourists. Yep. True. True. Oh, man. I definitely thought I wasn't in there yet. Lighthorn sink? No, anytime you drive through that purple thing, uh, what it does is it fries all of your electronics. So your radio goes on and off, your um, horn flashes, your light flashes. That's just that's just what that anomaly does. Is it makes all of your electrical systems go chaotic. Similarly, you lose control of your steering as well. It starts to make you go turny turny. All right, so D1. I've got Tourist, Salamander Grotto, Neon Reef, Bubblegum Buddy. Hate that. Uh, neon Reef, if it's safe, we're going to try and grab some stuff here. Hoods up, everybody. It's tourist season. It's tourist season. And that I don't like. I'm not too worried about radiation. That's not one of the, like, the slow dot damage, whatever. We can heal through that. Uh, tourists sneaking up behind us. Ugh. Wait. Oh, what is this? What is this? All right. It's a highway. It's a shortcut. So we just go uh, from point A to point B. Time to get some sick air. Whoa. It 
hid from me? Hold on. Where'd all the pink things go? Excuse me. What am I misunderstanding here? Am I asking? Yeah, what why why is it doing that? I haven't experienced this before. Is it shy? They need a light source? Oh. I had no idea. Oh, cool. Huh. The thermal vacuum has a light already? I don't have a thermal vacuum. I've only ever had a regular vacuum. I guess what it is, is a lot of times I've seen those coral thingies. There have been um, the weird like science lights on top of it. Mm. Just park my car with the headlights on? Yeah, I guess. I guess sort of coincidentally, I never noticed that. And I just assumed sometimes it didn't have thingies. Neat. Oh, there's a truck there too? Let's go. Wait, why'd I put that away? So I think I need like 600 of these or something ridiculous. Steel panel. No, thank you. Wait. Waste not, want not. Right, chat? Are we speeding? Is it speeding? If no one else is around. Like, is it speeding in Mad Max? I don't know, you know? Chat knows. The streamer is still alone in the woods. And no chat is around. Can he still be back seated? <laughs> Ooh. Spoopy. I need plasma. I need to stop and grab. Oh my god, plasma. Don't even get me started. Remember, y'all, when I, I was in the science facility and there was plasma everywhere and I didn't have a, a smashy smashy? Oh, that was so upsetting. There was hundreds. I would have had plasma for the rest of the playthrough and I didn't have a tool for it. Very upsetting. Been absolutely loving this playthrough. Catch up episode three now. You're so brave. Thank you. You avoid the horror genre and I give you hope for the future. I really appreciate that, friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. 
I mean, this is an interesting question. Is this horror? This is obviously horrifying to me. Would you classify this game as horror? Because like a lot of horror I find is often, I classify horror often as like the jump scares and the hee, 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 you know? Spoopy for sure. I went into this house for, okay, a little bit better stuff. One, and fabric. Yeah, I don't think we stop at houses that often. If this was a TV series, it would be a suspense drama. That's true. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. Sci-fi suspense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I agree with all of that. In books, horror isn't even a genre anymore. Really? I can't be right. You know what? I like these little highway shortcuts. That was a good amount of stuff. Soma is considered horror, but Soma, you also get chased. Right? And I would say Soma, a lot of the fear, A, the atmosphere is very spooky, but like not including the other mode, the, the fact that you are being hunted, I would argue is why Soma is a horror game. Horror is still very much a genre? Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I do not agree with the horror no longer being a thing. Okay, I want to stop there and I need to, fill, I need to fix a flat. Bonk. Let that be a lesson to you. This is more suspense than horror. Yeah, I agree. Okay, we want to take our first left, stop to grab the orb, and then continue on. Check. I don't remember what's here. We're keeping our eyes peeled for trees and loot and all kinds of stuff is always good. That building was probably worth looting. I don't know if I've scanned you before. Is this not an anomaly? What am I looking at? Oh, neat. I just take psychic damage for existing outside on this level. Okay. New Weird refers to general reinterpretation of Lovecraftian style horror, which horror is not scary stuff, but alienation of the world and sheer impossibility of understanding. I don't know. I wouldn't call this Lovecraftian. The often I interpret Lovecraftian to be that there are intelligent beings beyond understanding and you take like massive psychic damage just for perceiving their existence. And I don't think that's what this is trying to do. Maybe I'm not doing a good job of, of describing that, but I feel like there's enough of a difference between the two. I don't I don't think this is much like, um, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's that thing again. I don't know if I could stop and grab this. No, I'm too scared. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. 
mistakes. I've made a few. Time to leave. I hate everything on this map. The things that chase me are a very quick reason for me to leave. <laughs> no chase. No chase. No chase, only vibes. What did I just hit? That just punctured a tire. Oh, now it's bald? I'll fix you later. I hate that for me. Hello, tourists. Goodbye, tourists. Other game is hard because something chases you that doesn't happen here. We're being chased. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Touche. All right. Touche. What do we get here? Tourist, tour bus, beach ball, uh, and four things we've never recognized before. All right. Anchor. No, something's moving. It has something's moving, chat. Oh, buckets. I could pivot. I could go here. I'm going to be so brave. So brave. Joe says she's going to bring me lunch after this one. Ooh, look at this. Okay, now, luckily, it's also not dark. So we can see. And everybody is braver when they can see. Right? I need that plasma. If I look away, they should all explode, right? If I look away, they should all explode, right? Some of you seem to be getting closer to me instead of further away from me, which I think is extremely rude. Because if I look away... Supposed to chase the heat source. Right? I'm trying to be so brave right now. I actually have shivers. What, 
where? Where did you all even come from? Stop it! Where are you coming from? I'm out of flares. Oh, that's really bad. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> I want to go collect the balloons. Oh, tour buses. This is Corruptium. Dukes of Hazard. Please, please.
get onto the road. I think I want to go to the one to the north here. I think that's the extract we want to take. I hate tourists so much. I hate them. I hate them. Sponsored by the Canadian Travel Board. God, I wish. Back tire damaged. Not too worried, though. All right. GG, everybody. Oh, wait. I got a second here. I got a second here. Oh my goodness. I lied. I don't have any time. I don't have any time. I don't have any time. They're right there. I thought it was safe. I didn't see any tourists. I thought it was safe. We got 4.3 corruptium out of that too. Quit waiting for you, driver. Straight out of the oven. to get that dumpster and antacid. Amazing. Ooh, flares. Did that raise my heart rate a little bit? Yes. liberate a tire and then scrap it does it do better maybe i don't know it's not their step i was just free stuff line of boot hi sweetie that's okay i love you very much No, God, yeah. you should not be able to auto organize your own inventory. It just ruins everything. Who organizes stuff like this anyways? Look at what a mess. What a mess. I checked the playback and those tourists literally spawned behind the bubbles. You didn't miss them. Okay, so they were just appearing out of thin air is what I was afraid of. I hate that hate that for me. Uh, let's assume that this hand vac is cooked. I 
to get out of this tool when it's done. Like nothing? Okay. Neat. So if I get the lighty lighty... Um, they're tracking me from across the map. They did not have that range before. I hate that. Safe travel surge in video games and otherwise. Funko? We're having dinner before you leave. Uh, you, you, you don't have a choice. <laughs> I just need you to know that. All right, bud? I refuse to be ships in the night partying and not seeing each other. I refuse. Do a combination welcome and farewell dinner lunch. I accept. This game is so good and so scary. Wait. Wait, I have room for this stuff. Okay, I've got a lot of spare liberators. Funko, my notes of people in Victoria to introduce me to. Something like Lur. Sounds sketch. <clears throat> I don't know if I like that. I'll make my own way. Thank you very much. It felt really bad that I fixed that tire. And then once I fixed it, it got bald after. I felt bad. Just letting you know. All right. I need two mechanics kits and one ceiling kit. They're very sketch comedy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. When car accelerates... When car moves fast, it's not when the car moves fast. It's specifically when we accelerate, the radio turns off. Let's give this a try here. Um, the radio changes volume. So it's not moves fast. I knew it wasn't moves fast. It's not switches on. It's specifically when we break and then accelerate. Is it moves forward? Moves f slow? It's moves slow. Oh, interesting. Because it's specifically when it's in the slow movement is it's bad. That's kind of funny. All right. Needs one mechanic kit and one electrics kit. That's fine. That means I need to make another mechanics kit and an electrician's kit. Hey, Serge, I just want to say with so much junk in the media these days, having your cozy corner to watch and play video games and chill is pretty amazing. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Honestly, I, I try and say this as often as I can, but community is not me. Uh, community is all of you being here, and this corner of the internet is nothing without each and every one of you. Uh, so thank you for being here as well. You make this the space that it is, so thank you. You got to move slow before you move fast. Not me. No, zero to 60 instant Jaeger is what they call me. <laughs> All right, 10 food on me, 10 food in there. I've got two liberators on me. I've got a spare impact hammer. I've got a new upgraded plasma, plasma scraper. Uh, I think I want to try out the new illuminated hand vac. The thermal vac. Th 
Thermal Vac apparently is good for dealing with those light wanting ones. Uses a lot of our rubber. We didn't come out of it with that much rubber. But that's all right. All right, you live here now. You're big. You're big. So I came out of that with, hold on. Uh, I have a pry bar with like 30% durability. I've got another pry bar up top. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I should make sure I have a spare tire on me. Another spare tire. A spare, spare tire on me. Two spare Jaeger, they call me. Buckets. One spare Jaeger, they call me. Where am I going? The bumper, both headlights. Did you know that cars go to sleep when they lose two wheels? They get too tired. Wow. That's so relatable. I also go to sleep when I lose two wheels. <laughs> hey, something else that's kind of random, but also a personal W. I have been getting back into working out regularly, which is awesome. I've been feeling really good about that lately. That even despite working all the time and getting ready to move, I'm still I'm still finding time. I've gotten three workouts in the past four days. It feels great. This doesn't give me rubber. I need rubber, I need fabric. And I need weird tier two gear. Well, let's take a peek anyways. How are we, how are we doing? Are we getting closer? I also need lead. Okay. We're halfway there with the, uh, the swamp coral though. That's kind of cool. It's a lot of rubber. That's something you've been trying to do. Nice. All right, uh, give me a second. I'm going to quickly use the washroom. And I believe Joe's trying to time it so we have lunch before our next mission. So I'll be right back. We'll putter around on the map. Hey, uh, something used to be there. I think our lightning collector died. Hold on. Oops. That was our lightning rod. There we go. All right, be right back. We return. All right, let's see if we learned anything new in the area here. 
Uh, get the overcharger from... Oh, a little bit more lore is coming up. All right. Well, we'll deal with all of that um, after the lunch break. Hello. Welcome to the lunch break. The final lunch break in Alberta. Friends. Y'all. All kinds of lasts. It's very interesting. Last time I was going to shave in Alberta. Oh my God, my hair because of the hood right now. <laughs> the last lunch prank in Alberta. Is Alberta going away? I'm going away. Yeah, it's kind of a bourree, isn't it? <laughs> my parents, what do you mean you're never coming back? Well, we're never broadcasting it again, you know? After me, no one will ever have lunch in Alberta again. The weather's just about to get nice. I mean, I kind of wanted more snow. I mean, I say that before I destroy my ski. <laughs> I would have been down for another, just like getting absolutely buried in snow all year, which they didn't quite do to us this winter, but that's okay. You saw the photo this weekend? Ouch. I have never... I've worn out skis. I've never killed a ski like that. I've never caused a ski to self-destruct. Which is a um, an interesting experience, certainly. Kind of weak winter. So last year was the worst snowfall since 1982. And this year was better, but uh, apparently not by much. Must have been a heck of a rock. I mean, I also hit it with a lot of speed. Like, keep in mind, I'm 200 pounds. And I hit it while... While cruising. So something, something. Force is like velocity times mass or whatever. <laughs> There's a lot of both. By worst, you mean lightest or heaviest? As a skier, um, a bad year means no snow. Um, good roads, crappy skiing. Crappy roads, good skiing. Oh, I didn't core the ski. I ripped the edge off. Let me, let me find a photo one second. So. There... That is the that is the edge of my ski. Oh, I can't zoom in on Twitter. Brutal. That is the edge of my ski, ripped off. Uh, there's uh, that the edge is just gone there. Yeah, right along the side. Like, look at that. There's a little bit of coring. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh.
Perfectly skeeable, don't turn left. I, I had three other edges, right? Who needs all four edges when they ski? Glad I wasn't injured. Me too. God, how inconvenient would it have been to like mess myself up right before having to move back? Oh, Joe would have been pissed. <laughs> Wait, Wiggins hurt himself? No way. I did not know that. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, Matt just moved. Kate just moved. Apparently, March is the uh, the month of moving. Who knew? You feel less bad for Wiggins and worse for Meg if I had to do all the extra lifting? Yep. Yeah, but Meg is awesome. So. There's a reason they call it March. Is March one of the months that was named after a Roman emperor? Was there like Marchius or something like that? Have a good one, Mama Tats. Um, the top three streamers you watch, myself, Wiggins, and Kate, all are moving. Amazing. Wait, it's called March literally because that's when you start marching. It's a military thing. Really? Pretty sure it's named after Mars. Huh. Always move in spring and fall, especially if you want friends to help. <laughs> oh, we paid for movers. <laughs> yeah, once you get to a certain age, you stop asking your friends. Nobody wants to help you move. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'll just cough up a couple hundred bucks. It's more than that. Partner, I just reached that age. Next time we move, we're paying for movers. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I'm done. Like, especially in university days, you're helping so many people move so often. You're like, never again. Anyways, my pizza's done. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. What up? Chair, any thoughts on Serge's big move? Yeah, Chair's gonna Chair's gonna get to retire. Get to just hang out, you know. All right. Uh, tend to my wounds. I am at ninety percent health. That's fair. Overcharge the Ike the Arc device. Get the overcharger from the Penumbra tube. 
What do you or think, Francis? It could work. <laughs> it will work. We don't know anything about the well, but the driver doesn't have to go in completely empty-handed. You're removing the Arc Device's limiter and overloading its charge capacity. Right. So no matter how much energy the car's getting blasted with, the Arc will be able to overpower it to open a gateway. It's the only way to extract the driver from whatever's going to happen at the trigger point. And then we use Alan's suppression technique to keep the whole thing from completely exploding? This sounds like a lot. <laughs> it's what we've got. Driver, go on and install that Arc Device modification. Uh, we'll spin up the suppression system in the meantime. Reach the barricade operating now, station. Head out and overcharge it. We'll give you instructions when you're en route. There. There's a little shortcut here. One, two, three, four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tourist. No idea. Oh, right, because I haven't upgraded the... Yes, hold. Please hold. Is this the final location? I don't know. It might be. We'll find out. I need a circuit board and eight limb magnets. What are limb magnets? Limb chip. I have none limb magnets. Well, I guess we uh, we just don't know, do we? Oh my goodness. If I go this way, it's bad. No, I want to minimize the amount of time I spend inside of zone three. I'm going to go this way. One, two, three, four. And look at this. No tourists. So tourist here. No, no tourist. Amazing. No tourist. And then I think I have to stop there. I don't know. Yeah, one here. No tourist. There, no tourist. Any upgrades? No, we're out of materials. I looked at a couple things. It's fine. I have the wrong place selected. Wait. Oh, buckets. I had the wrong place selected. Oh, no. This route is all full of tourists. Tourists? Tour bus? Boo. I just want you to know this is a significantly worse route, and I am not pleased. Just just if you're curious. Just if you're curious. Do I want to do a mat route? No. No, we're going to get it done. Ever forward. Skirt. Okay. We still have the three other quirks that we have no idea about. Uh, actually, real quick. I've got one tire. I've got... Uh, I think I have three liberators. I do. So what we're going to do is if we come across armored tires, we're going to throw another one in as a spare spare. It's interesting how I have three lockers full of materials, and yet so many of the things that I actually want and need, I'm out of. It's just like, enjoy your 9,000 scrap, idiot. I only want four rubber. Nice spot on me selecting the wrong route, by the way. Even though it's worse, I appreciate that we're going the right way. 
It would have been kind of a bummer. Because <laughs> these, these roots are getting really long, right? Like, we have to go a long, long way. stop there. All right, we are stopping for armored cars and we are stopping for a big truck and that's probably it. Oh, uh, maybe plasma. Wait, where's the road? I'm definitely not on the road. Found the road. You don't have missing materials because you took long routes and basically full looted every map? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's an option, right? Like, this definitely seems like a game that you can just grind if you want to. I have to move this week. <laughs> Again, not that I'm not that I'm rushing. But Definitely can't put off packing. So that's going to be all day tomorrow. So tomorrow we're packing. I got a haircut. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to have lunch with Joe's family. A sort of a farewell. Oh my God. So last night, last night, this is very sweet. We had sort of like a goodbye dinner with a good, good friend and his wife. And I thought I had played it, you know, pretty straightforward. I was like, hey, I'm going to treat everybody to dinner. And they're like, yep, yeah, okay. And then, you know, the, they put the machine on the table. They hand me the machine. I go to try and pay, and my buddy tries to ninja, and you can just tap on the machine in Canada to, like, steal the bill. And he's like, ha-ha, and he taps. And I'm just like, you dingus. Like, I hadn't selected a tip yet. wasn't going to work. And he's like, oh. <laughs> so he, instead of, like, taking the L, he very subtly just steals the entire machine from me. And then, and then promptly pays for dinner, which was very sweet. I thought that was very funny. Just like the least subtle, like, nah, no games, no fighting for dinner. It's just going to be my treat. And he's like, uh-huh. Is that what you think? So. That was sweet. I want these things to stop bouncing around me. Missed. Hey, what's up, Nico? How you doing? Extremely nice sub. Thank you so much. The move goes smoothly. Hey, thank you so much. I actually want to hang out here for a little bit. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff that we want. Ah! Okay, first of all, get off my car. <laughs> I need plasma. It's always important to have a backup plan in case your first strike falls through. I guess, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I didn't think I needed subterfuge, right? Yeah, you could slip the server your credit card. Like, there's all kinds of things that you can do if you want to sneaky pay for dinner. But I didn't want to play any games. I just wanted to be like, dinner's on me, right? And then, and then you know what they'd say? They say thank you, and then that's sort of the end of it. But no. <laughs> All right, we got plasma, we got a sphere, and we got a little bit from that house. Let's keep moving.
My brother-in-law and father-in-law have an ongoing fight where they try and sneak around others to pay the bill first. Amazing. <laughs> that kind of game makes me uncomfortable. Like, well, I go through so much effort to win, and now I feel like I actually owe you. I mean, that's that's sort of the, the, the idea, though, is like nobody owes anybody when it's all over. All right, we got Neon Reef here, but we also have Tourist in Pickpocket. Which means I'm probably just going to drive through. <laughs> oh, what an awful combination. Oh, and it's dark? Well, that's a quick out if I've ever seen one. Right at the fork in the road. Follow the road and just leave. Hey, do you know that you can just leave? Ow, buckets. I got a little bit of poison ooze in here. Hello, tourist. Uh, they stole my door. You, you stole my door. Can I steal it back? All right, and my tire is flat. Okay. Door stealer. You know what? I was so brave there when you think about it. I got out of the car and I stole my door back from a demon. Pretty brave, I know. Pretty brave. No hesitation either. I was fueled by rage. Righteous door retrieval rage. No, no. We're going to be brave here. We're going to be brave here. Let's go. I'm so proud of me right now. Got the goo. Fifty more of those crystals. Nice. Thought that demon was kind of cute, possibly even adorable gunner. I don't want to hear you being a demon th sympathizer ever again, okay? I need you to know, I need to know that you're in my camp, 
All right. Step up the game, Gunner. This can't possibly be our noble steed's fault. It's like trying to blame Joe. It ain't happening. Ooh, there's a car. No, no truck. Just no truck. Just drive. No truck. Just drive. That was a spooky noise. Hated that. <clears throat> okay, now we are in the terror zone. Delightful. Love it. Tour bus. Tour bus. tour bus it's fine magnified explosions just leave there's nothing of value on this map clearly nothing of value whatsoever why are there also tourists Tour buses spawn tourists? Oh my god. I hate every part of this. I feel like I'm more driving through, like, Nevada. I mean, I guess part of the drive to the Pacific Northwest does involve um, going through, like, the Badlands area. I did want to... No, that looks like it's in bad condition. Yeah, we're probably not stopping here. Wait, does this have gale force winds? Is it going to blow my car over? It might. never seen you before. I need to scan you. The Radiant Dredge. Hello, new friend. I took a picture. I got out and took a photograph. Oh, the trees. Wait. These trees look very lush in this area. That's odd. Radiant Dredge sounds like a magic deck. I mean, you're not even wrong. Yeah. All right. We're in the final zone, friends. Perpetual stability. Love that. Uh, okay, good. Tour bus not recognized. Full service stop. Ooh, love that. Something looks normal. I find that disturbing. Says a lot about this game, right? <laughs> it sounds like a higher difficulty Hell Divers mission. Shiny, no focus.
Everything is red, glowy, glowy. An early attempt to stop anomalies from drifting out into the wider Olympic Peninsula. It worked for some time. Until it didn't. But long enough to get the old wall built. The barricade's in bad shape, but what's a little rampant voltage leakage? Not like the ghosts and goblins of the deep zone will mind. And if they do, all the better for Francis. Huh? Nice. The that is a good condition tire. Boy, do you have a lot to learn about the paranormal. I'd be happy to give you a primer after all this is over. Ugh, hard pass. I'm far too old for that. The car will induce a current along the barricade in the same way you did it crossing the old wall. Every connection point needs to be induced within a limited time. Electrify the entire barricade, and we'll have all the power we need. You heard him. Floor it, driver. Okay, so I have to do another super parkour route. It's a good thing I just grabbed a second door. Um, okay, so reach the barricade. So that means take a right at the road here <clears throat> and ignore everything else. I can't stop. This is tourist country. They kind of look like a flower. Barricade's operating station. Can you get in there and look around? We need something that will give us the lay of the land. What's that glowy glowy? What's that glowy glowy? Are we safe? What's this? What is anything? Oh, it's so dark in here. Imagine if we hadn't turned up the brightness here. Um, link all barricade gates. Hey, do I need to put the, uh, the limb bumper back on or no? Uh, because I've upgraded the arc machine, is that all I need? That one's already on. Not required? Okay. Link all gates. Scan the barricade map in the operating tower. Oh, there it is. Perfect. I'm uploading the barricade map to your arc device. By my calculations, if you electrify all eight posts, you'll have all the power you need. I'm going to put it back on. Does it seem right to you? I, I think so. Yeah, I, I ran the numbers a few times, and I... Then get to it, driver. Let's, uh, let's slap this bad boy back on, you know? Does it remember? It does not remember.
All right. He's driving out of his mind. Oh, I was almost so fast the gate didn't lower in time. Oh, near, near. We need that like montage at the end of Speed Racer. You know, when he's talking in his head. I always wanted to be a racer. You can do it. You're going so fast. You got this speed. Racer X is my brother. <laughs> Tank it. This is an interesting sort of like boss level design, it feels. I don't know. Does this feel like antithetical to the game two at all or no? Is this like a continuation of how it makes sense? It's always neat, right, when games add, like, we need some type of conclusion. And not necessarily, like, a um, an emotional or narrative conclusion, but a mechanical conclusion. I'm in Seattle right now. Got it. Not making good time. Keep it up. Thank you. I find this one less stressful because I don't have to go inside through those weird little murder caves like they had the previous time. This is not the radio. This is the, uh, the soundtrack, the OST. The, like, zap of the electricity actually suits this song pretty well, too, eh? something I just realized about this game. At no point have I ever found the, the driving to be boring. The driving feels good. Alright, one last one. Not the last one. Do I have to go all the way back to our starting point now? I do. Oh, geez. Oh, man. I cannot. S okay, don't hit stuff. The shield makes it impossible to see. Neat. It's a good thing that the it's a game about driving. The driving feels good. Yeah, but like, you know, you can end up enjoying something for a little while and eventually kind of getting bored about it. I just realized, you know, 20 hours in that I'm still... Uh, Having fun. I just drove over a tourist. Ow. Five points. All right. Is this good? This is good, right? Good charge. Mark device readings at 4.2 gigajoules and holding steady. Good. Then we're all set. The arc device is ready to go. It'll hold that charge for as long as we need it. Now what? Pedal 
to the metal drive. A storm's coming. Oh, oh. There it is. Oh, buckets. Oh, I've made a decision. I have made a choice. Stuff. Let's go. Nice work out there. Thank you. The well could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. So this is, this is a rhetorical question. I don't necessarily... I'm not looking for an answer for this. Am I the remnant? What do you mean we don't know what the remnant can unleash? There's more than one remnant? Hey, driver. I sent you something, if you don't mind taking a look. It's a lot of glass. All right, maybe you should need so much glass. Are you okay? That was <laughs> so much glass. All right. The flame paint job helped. Thank you. It's we we had a very important job. Big storm. Do we think it's the last time we're going to come to the shop? I don't know. Maybe. The end of the road. I mean, the, the quest is literally called the end of the road. I can assume <laughs> this might be our finale. We speed running? I don't think we're speed running. Again, I looked up the, um, I looked up the expected how long to beat, which is a great tool as a streamer, by the way. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, there's a website called How Long to Beat, and you just put the name of the video game you're playing in, and it tells you 100% completionist, main storyline, all kinds of different, like, um, milestones. If you wanted, no, buckets, if you wanted to beat a video game. Uh, really useful if you're trying to figure out uh, <laughs> how close you are to being done a game, say if you're trying to make a schedule around uh, streaming or whatever. In memoriam. I love that. <gasps> no! Tomo. Never forget ride together? If it's not too much to ask, uh, if you could put it on your dashboard so Tobias can come along for the ride for wherever you're going. Uh, but don't feel obligated by any means. No!
Uh, good old splorch and repair putty, eh? All right, I need the black paint. I need the paint thinner. And then I need the fly, the fire uh, decal. Wow. Our car goes so much faster when we paint it with fire. All right. How are we doing here? Uh, one more ceiling kit. Get the essentials down first. How are we doing for first aid kits? Uh, we've got two first aid kits. That's fine. We've got three liberators. Ah! Let me order this. Paint it red. It'll go faster. We had it. We had it red for a while. Uh, but red doesn't go as good with the fire. We had uh, red when we had it with the um, the shark design. And that was kind of cool. Wait, the side fuel tank. I thought everything got filled together. Apparently not. What about this one? Are you not full then? No, you're full. Okay, weird. <laughs> Tires in good condition. What does that mean? Oh. Ugh. Keep the spares that we have. Let's make a fresh tire. There we go. That's looking great. That's looking great. Back left panel seems borked. Nope. If you take a look, everything is green or better. So, I'm just going to leave it. I, uh, in order to store, I mean, it seems kind of wasteful. In order to keep as much um, putty usefulness as possible. Oh, you think you saw an axe? Okay, give me a second. Does have an X. Ah, but it's at full durability. <clears throat> Rear left panel. Yeah, it's got the same stats. I just think it's not repairable afterwards. I think that's what fragile means. Bad for tires, because the tire is bare. Even the toughest components cannot be repaired indefinitely. Sometimes it's just old and wear out. Yeah, that's all. It's fine. It'll hold. Look, she only needs to hold together for one last trip. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at clothing upgrades. Can we upgrade us? Uh, the backpack, we're not there. Uh, the booties, we ain't there. Balloon shirt, we're not there. Gloves, nope. Sealed suit, nope. <laughs> Olympian shirt. Height of fashion? No. Is it the height of protection against explosives? <gasps> wow. All right. Did we find any new quirks today? Yeah, we solved a couple. Oh, God. Two new quirks again?
Sorry, Joe had a, an important question for me. All right, it feels like when I turn on and off the light, I accelerate. No. So I think there's two different quirks here. I think there's two different quirks here. It's turning on the radio. Sorry, when the ignition is on. Alright, first things first. I think there might be two interchanged quirks there. Um, the dome light is turning on and off the radio. So, when dome light toggles, radio toggles. Wait, is that one of the old ones? That might be one of the ones that we've had for a very long time we had no idea about. Okay. Now. I'm going to hold down the handbrake here. Nice. Okay. When the radio is turned on, the car accelerates. When radio switch on, car jolts forward. K. K. Sick. Uh, that is like four quirks we figured out today. I think I'm out of electron electrician's kits now. So I need to make two more electrician's kits. I don't think the dome light and the radio is an old one. It was in position four though. My assumption is that the order never changes. <laughs> But we had that other bug before between the radio and the dome light where the radio turned on the dome light. We never tried the dome light to the radio, right? Order never changes. There you go. I'm going to assume that the car is perfect now. All right, approach the well. There it is. Tour bus. Stop it with the tour bus. You haven't noticed that it isn't a problem? Yeah. All right, everybody. Are you ready for the finale where we find out that we are, in fact, a robot? All right. So, again, not looking for answers or spoilers. Specifically, not looking for spoilers. We don't know who we are or how we got here. 
We don't really know... Well, you know who OP is. OP is Ophelia. Francis stayed here for... Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't know. There's a... There's a... I don't have a lot of questions. Obviously, there's a lot of questions, but I don't have like... Hmm. Sure do wish I had an answer to this. Uh, and please, please do not engage in this conversation if you know the answers. What are some hypothetical questions you have with this game? That you're, what are loose ends that you'd like to have tied up? I'm the tour guide. It's all a dream. I'm a customer service worker from the Pacific Northwest, and this is a nightmare. Yeah, good question. Good question. You want to hang out with Bigfoot? It's not a question per se, but I like your energy. How have they survived in isolation so long without food delivery? Great question. There's a good question. They've been in here. Actually, here's what is the timeline on this? They've been in here 30 years, 20 years. Yeah, like we got dropped off in the zone on a ferry for some weird reason. If humans are in here. Where are all the animals? Um, they did talk about. Uh, they did mention earlier in the game about um, the anomalies, because the anomalies can actually kill people and stuff like that, doing a number on like a lot of the uh, the animals. Ooh, more red paint, more black paint. Can I pet your dog sticker? Oh my god. Now they're asking the real questions. On a ferry? Yeah, doesn't the game start you off by you're like I don't know, as a as a West Coaster, it definitely looked to me like they you're on a drive on car ferry and they drop you off at the at the pier. Did I did I make that up? Am I having like stress dreams about this game or the making the ferry on my own drive? <laughs> yeah, the great the game starts with you leaving on the ferry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, maybe that's more normal for somebody from the Pacific Northwest is yeah, you get you get everywhere on ferries. You're a delivery driver. Oh. Uh, these are summer tires. Not really that interested. You sweet summer tires. When we opened the door, the door mirror image stayed the same. That's kind of funny. Upgrade. I mean, I can't imagine how challenging it is to program mirrors into the game. The fact that the mirrors kind of work at all, I consider to be like a miracle of video game programming. Who put all the weird tech we find in the woods? So that we know is the ARDA. We know that's Arda. Arda and Lim uh, would go out and try and study anomalies as they go. So this place is a research facility. And then there was a mass hallucination event and that was sort of the beginning of the end. And they started sealing stuff, things, and spinning the product, the project down. But there's a while while they continue to try and study the anomalies. And that's what a lot of this like field research is we see out in places. Yeah, I would love as we do this final drive to try and collate. Maybe that's the wrong word. Uh, corroborate. Let's get on the same page in terms of the story and stuff like that, right? All 
are the only people left, you and the folks on the radio? Uh, we don't know. There could be other people. Maybe there's not on the radio. Have I been picking up the notes and putting them in the fax machine? Yes. Uh, I can just follow this road all the way through. Anchor party. Money wizard. Love the sound of that. Summer tires, no thank you. Oh no. Oh, that was a terrible yeet. They're waving. The only good thing about the electrical ones is they're a lot easier to spot because, well, they're all glowy glowy, you know? Okay, we're all full. Are the tourists sapient or are they angry echoes of people? I don't know about that one. Another gas station? I mean, I just filled up. I possibly, I couldn't possibly have another bite. I'm stuffed, it, it'd be impolite. Ow. over there and we Audi you know what stopping to fill the gas tank and grabbing one orb is a perfectly good way to drive through an area you know and we stopped I think we've hit like four trucks already too no no, no everything's been great everything's been perfect Car's in good shape. We're actually up materials rather than down materials. 
was playing at the perfect storm of anomalies that bounced the car and myself around and killed me in like three seconds. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, sorry to hear that, Omdurastrix. All right, we have another freeway section here. Wow, is this like a five stop? No. Did I go this way? No. Maybe? Oh, I'm getting interrupted midway. Or maybe the, it just didn't load? I don't know. I am getting interrupted midway. There's a good old truck right there. Okay, so I am getting interrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. But you know what? I'm okay so far. Crude bumper, crude door. Yeah, that's all fine. You got the good tires? You got the good stuff? What you got? What you got? Off-road. Two off-road tires in perfect condition. Nice. Hey, what's up, Azershock? 72 months. The six years. Hey, enjoy your deliciously slow-brewed cup of coffee. I really appreciate the support, friend. You've been there since the very beginning, and that means a lot. Anybody else see where that other tire went? Did the tire roll? There it is. It rolled. Turns out round things can roll sometimes. All right. We have four spare tires. <laughs> things have got to go catastrophically if with six flat tire kits and four flat tire or spare tires we can't get where we're going you know and just like that i somehow have a spontaneous four tire explosion don't tempt fate, Surge. Ah. Motorin. Not saying I'm bored of this game, but do find that the deeper we get into the game, the more and more I'm tired. Four tired, spare tired, or punctured tired, Gunner. Prepping for season two a road quest. I'm prepping for the 15 hour drive I need to do in 70 hours. <laughs> you're enjoying the entire thing. Delightful. Oh, you're more off road tired. That's fair. Okay. Now, here's an important question. Do we just off-road the whole thing? Wait, what's this? Oh, no, that was... That's funny. You know what? Good luck with the drive back. Thank you. I also hope it's clear.
surge quest, a new home. Yup. I already have the door open. Nothing bad can happen to me. Duke's a hazard. Duke's a get out of town. like to not catch some sick air here. You know, if it's all the same to you. Dang it! <laughs> what did I just say? You know what? Oh, I hate how those branches move in the wind. You know what? That was, um, that was not bad. That was not bad. Now it's going to get bad. Anchor party, swift storm, magnified explosions. That was pretty clean. I think that was a good shortcut. I think that shortcut was actually a good call. I don't know if we would have taken more or less damage, but like, I think it cut the time on that level down considerably and we got good stuff. If we want to, we could stop there. Otherwise we just follow the road all the way out. If we want to. Uh, it would be good to collect some more uh, Corruptium. We'll see how many tourists there are. I think I should scan this. The blacksmith? I'm leaving. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry and I'm out. Oh buckets. Okay. I yeah. Neat. Good. Cool. The one on the left looks bigger. I'm going to go for the bigger one. Is it right beside a tour bus and a tourist? A tour bus and a, <gasps> and a tourist. Never mind. We're not grabbing any of that. We're outie. Time to go. Things got real weird real fast as soon as they touched that. So that's another blacksmith, presumably. That giant pink light in the distance. Oh, and there's a storm coming in. Whale noises, y'all.
Dukes of Hazard. Did the Dukes of Hazard have like a sweet catchphrase or anything? They'd shout when they'd like slide across their um, their dashboard. Horn noises. Dashboard. Uh, the trunk of their car, not their dashboard. Part of me. <laughs> Look, I'm a little stressed right now. All right. Yeehaw. That's fair. Oh, I have a flat. Okay. Um, we're going to get to the extract and we're going to fix that rear tire. Extracts are normally pretty safe. Watch the road, Jaeger. Watch the road. Ignore all the fantastical things you might be seeing out there. They are not important. That is so many tour buses. Oh my god, that's so many tourists. You know what? I, I think when I said this is safe, I might have lied. Maybe it's safe? Hold on. Maybe it's safe? Bald and blown out. That is why we have three spare tires. Let's go. Vindicated. Oh, all right. You ready? You ready? Welcome to the well. All roads lead to the well. Well, well, well. Oh. I just drive there. Get ready for some lore. This is really it, huh? The end of the road. Soon we'll finally see for ourselves what caused the mass hallucination and what Tobias and Alan died for. And whether it was all worth it. Francis. Yeah? Thank you for trusting me when you had every reason not to. Getting to this point together with you, it makes me feel like my own. How can they see our perspective? Oh, what is this? Been an honor to watch you work, Dr. Turner. These gamma readings, are they real? I, I can't even begin to guess what could be outputting this much radiation. Some sort of energy reservoir, a massive fission reaction, or a, a portal. Atlantis. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad they also both just laughed. <laughs> if this thing really leads us to Atlantis, I'm turning in my PhD. God, if only Tobias were here to see it. I would have liked to hear his take on all this. For once. All right, driver, you're almost to the threshold. Remember, Francis and I have got your back. Once you get that car to the well, we'll keep the gamma ray burst under control for as long as we can. Whatever happens, whatever state you find yourself in, the arc device will be your safety net. Use it. Get back to us, you hear me? Ready when you are, driver. It's opening. Godspeed, driver. Me. Can you read it? Uh, yeah, uh, let me see. 
Five... Five hundred kilojoules? Happy, what is this? The future. I call it... Lin Waves. Coffee delivery. Uh, Alan, gosh. Is it that time already? So, uh, about leaving on. I was thinking, how oh, about my Christmas? Yes, maybe. I just need to solve this instability issue. I love to think about leaving the Olympic Peninsula like this. Yeah, there's always more to do. I know. I'm sorry. And I love you for it. I'm just wondering if you'll really be able to walk away from all this. It's okay if you can't. You abandoned the world to work here beside me. Fair is fair. Then tech is a world-changing discovery. Your world-changing discovery. Fairness isn't even a consideration. We agreed to have children, and I'm not having them in this hellhole. Good, because I'd love to have eight. <laughs> Then I hope you're ready to carry at least half of those yourself. I love you. I love you. She accused him of being a workaholic, of never wanting to leave. This conversation seems to imply the opposite. We invented a new power source in order to handle the 8 million TVs we accidentally bought on back order. It would be a waste to not use them, so we have delved into new technology in order to not miss a single game of hockey ever. We plan to simultaneously broadcast every single game of hockey that has ever been played at the same time. And a golden age of Canada will be born. <laughs> we overstocked on CRT monitors and we're passing on the savings to you! <laughs> this one, good as new, gently used. Swear to, uh, basically, my grandmother, she never even watched it. 500 bucks. But for you, 250. <laughs> Near mint. This is a special new levitation model. The hottest new technology. You don't even have to mount it on the wall. Huh? What a deal. What a steal. It says light as a feather. Are you tired of hurting your back carrying old CTVs? <laughs> Good news. <laughs> All right, get ready for more lore, everybody. Um, are we going to yeet here as well? Oh my god. Now, the logo is changing. Tobias, the movers are here. Wait, 
Why aren't you packed? I ain't going. The evacuation orders... The evacuation orders can go to hell. We leave, and we never see the inside of these walls again. All the things we've been investigating, the ripple, the echoes from the swamp, they'll all fade away. I'm going to stay and chase down these stories, wherever they take me. Tobias, I... Stay here. With me. Oh! Oh, my heart! The floor is herringbone? That's not herringbone. That's just a regular old tile. Now, it did change. Also, wood wouldn't crumble like this. So, you know. This is just wood panel flooring. Tobias. Francis. Oh, because it's not herringbone, it's a bad game. That's fair. Hey! You know, I was getting a little peckish. Normally I don't care for lore dumps. Well, this isn't even a lore dump. This is a, a lore wrap-up. You know what I mean? This is a, um, a, um, a conclusion. <laughs> Excellent wordsmithing there, Jaeger. Some kind of lore burrito. Excellent, yes. It's like a lore smoothie. I take all of the lore and I put it in a blender and I add a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of strawberry. My secret, little little touch of acai. Mm. And you got yourself a lore smoothie. <laughs> Yeet! Uh-oh, now it's green. Okay, this is where things go bad. Notice that the ARDA is upside down. You here to vote? I'm here to deliver the committee's decision. You have been found guilty of doctoring experimental data. This action is in clear violation of artist scientific integrity. Judgment has been rendered. You may stay and work, but your clearance will be lowered to level three. So I'm to be a glorified flash cleaner. Take it as a win. You could have been court-martialed instead. Yeah. I'm sure you would have liked that much better. What I like has no bearing on this decision. See you on Monday, Dr. Cook. Now the floor is... Good old kitchen linoleum right there. I mean, we kind of always knew that Opie was not a good guy. <laughs> like, we all knew that, right? This comes as no surprise. She maybe kind of turned the corner at the end, but... Now, here's a question. The age of the TVs is changing, right? Like, we are moving through the timeline here? No. No, that doesn't make sense. Because there is the, there is the evacuation order, but the evacuation order and the court-martial did not happen at the same time. So that's incorrect. Something is moving up there. The TVs are definitely moving forward in time, but I don't know if that's a correlation between that and the memories. Driver, driver, do you read me? Driver, you passed through some sort of opening. We, we managed to hold it steady, but the energy expulsion is growing. We don't have much longer. If you can hear this, you need to get back now. Hey, look, the gang's back together. Tobias. I, um, uh, I never told you how grateful I was that you stayed behind in the zone with me these years <laughs> best of my life foraging for mushrooms slogging through swamplands combing through hours and hours of terrible field recordings not a single moment wasted thank you for everything it was all you you made me feel capable that anything was possible that i wasn't some second-rate scientist all my happiness was thanks to you and I'm afraid, I'm afraid of how I'll survive without you. I'm not. You got this. You always have. Hey, Oppy, Alan sends his regards. And he wants to know why you haven't taken his advice yet. <laughs> what? Driver. 
Is that a gun baru on your dash? No, oh, I'll be damned. Proceed right. with caution. Until next time. Tobias? Tobias? Evacuation point. Driver, if you could hear this, we can't keep the well stable for much longer. Wherever you are, come back. I think we just keep going forward. You can play so much melee in all these CRTs. Uh. Imagine the power draw. That's what I'm telling you. New technology specifically to power all of these TVs. It all may, it all adds up. It all came down to this. One game. <laughs> just, kind of an odd inclusion. <laughs> Imagine if they included a mini game that you could only play right now. Right? <laughs> God, I could go for some bubble bubble right now. Ooh. What was your favorite classic arcade game? Some Peglin. We'll talk later, Raven. <laughs> Careful curves ahead. Hmm. Surge gets distracted, never leaves. Gauntlet! Oh my god. What is it? Green Archer requires nourishment. <laughs> you have deep appreciation for Space Invaders? I mean, haven't worked on it. Nice. Well, can't keep going, y'all. End of the road! Around here, we obey signs. If I can't see it, I don't have to obey it. <laughs> High R level facility. Extreme caution is advised. Oh, drivers are authorized? Okay. How you doing, Avi? Welcome to the conclusion. You get out of here for the very end. Yeah, just a little longer. Hold steady, Francis. Keep those limb faces aligned. Not even a point zero zero one deviation. You get me? I'm trying. Anything we can do to stabilize things on your side. 
Peace, it looks like. And no sign of the Remnant's energy signature anywhere in that car. Y you're free. But the car's maintained its link to you. Fascinating. We'll never know how far the Remnant's obsessions wormed into your head. But you should be safe from it getting any worse. In theory. Oppy, I'm sorry. You didn't get to talk to Alan again. We managed to pull off the near impossible. And the first thing you do is apologize? Sorry, I, I mean, uh, uh, uh... Don't worry, it was Tobias's fault. He hogged the frequency all for himself yet again. You heard him too. I did. That means I didn't imagine that last conversation with Alan. And you know what else? What? <sighs> that your theory was right. And Tobias called it. All that bluster and he ended up showing us scientists a thing or two. Those moments we heard, they were all from the past. Being inside that well somehow allowed the remnant to access those imprints and replay them. But Tobias's voice wasn't from the past, it was from somewhere else entirely. But where? And how? No clue. Do me a favor. Once you figure it out, don't bother telling me. <clears throat> I'm leaving the zone. I I'm sorry, what? Alan came to tell me goodbye. And that I was forgiven 37 years ago. <laughs> I didn't listen. So now, finally, I'm going to take his advice. I should have left the zone a long time ago. But if we solve this, maybe there's a way to speak to him again. I heard what I needed to hear. It only took me 37 years to listen. <laughs> anyway, all that sounds like a young scientist game. It's not for me anymore. Francis, you decide what to do from here. You can carry the torch and continue the research, or get out of this cursed place and find your own way. It's your decision. And Driver, you're free now. You can do what you want from here. But if you'll allow an old woman one last hope, stay here with Francis. There's so many more stories for the Zone to tell. And the both of you are young enough to listen. My ears are bad. And I refuse to hear them. I've removed all access restrictions to my systems, Francis. The helm is yours. Uh, wait, I... I don't know if I can do this alone. You're not alone. You've got clear eyes, ears open to the impossible, and the driver. Dr. Cook? Driver? It's been a pleasure. This is Dr. Ophelia Turner. Signing off. Abby? Uh, Abby! Really? Well, I, um... Uh, driver, if you don't mind sticking around with me, Oppy was right. There's still so much of the zone that we still don't know about. But with your help, we can tell those stories. I, I'm no Oppy, but I'll do the best I can. You're no longer bound to the car, but it stayed with you and will continue to protect you as you travel the zone. Go on, then. As long as you're willing to drive. I'm along for the ride. Very weird ending.
I'm fine with it. It's a weird game already. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> but that didn't wrap up anything. <laughs> I somehow saw the end and wasn't spoiled. Yeah. The ending's going to leave you thinking for a little bit. It's so funny because it's like we're going to get into the well and we're going to find out what caused the mass hallucination event. And then it doesn't. Yeah, we don't leave. I, it would have been interesting actually to, what I would have liked to do would have been to get into the car uh, and instead of turning left to go into the zone, turning right and leaving. <laughs> You know, you know, <laughs> I'm glad I watched you stream this instead of playing it myself. I would have had some heavy thoughts and feelings that I would have had to work through. Hmm. Yeah. Literal being able to drive off into the sunset would have been kind of cool. All right. So question are there multiple endings? Like people who have also played along with this game. Did you all hit the same ending or nah? Yeah, we don't learn about what limbed is or the instability or the mass hallucination. And we don't get to leave. <laughs> There's only one ending. Huh. I... I don't know if there's any other way they can end this game, right? So there's like, there's an interesting issue with a lot of like very beloved franchises where they over explain stuff and then it loses its magic. Like I really could have done with, the classic example is like, I really could have done without the mitochondrian, mitochondrian or whatever it's called in Star Wars. Like I, I could have just accepted space wizards and moved on with that. And at a certain point, if you, if you tie it, if you try and wrap everything up into a nice little bow, it, it gets worse. Uh, <laughs> another famous example I have on this famous example. One of my favorite examples is Lost. God, Lost would have been so much better if it had gotten canceled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if it had just followed the plan of the X-Files and just keep getting as complicated as possible until it eventually gets canceled. And then you're like, great, perfect. It's done. And then you give, uh, you give a bunch of like fan theories. Wrapping up everything is bad. Wrapping up some things is necessary. That's fair. That's fair. Ooh, interesting. Uh, XL Gold points out what we got was the ending of Ophelia's story, but not our story, right? So yeah, that was a game where what agency did we have as the player, right? We don't get an introduction. We never know why we're there. Uh, and instead, we explore all of Ophelia's story. We touch a little bit of of Francis's story, but yeah, you're right. If we go into New Game Plus, the story of, of Serge the driver and Francis gets to continue. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. I love that. Part of my issue with not explaining limb and instability is that Opie knows and she just leaves. She's like, nah, I'm out. Huh. Kind of reminds me of Mad Max and Fury Road. Cam, Cam has a great theory about Mad Max, which is Mad Max is kind of like Hercules, right? In that Mad Max possibly didn't even exist. There's just a bunch of different stories from the wasteland and collectively it all got tied together. And you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I th This is the story of uh, of so-and-so. And then Mad Max showed up and like, oh, I'm paying attention now. <laughs> I was really, really hoping I could just open the door and drive out to the right.
I take it we're done, right? At this point, it's just new game plus. Is is that is that correct to assume? I don't like to be spoiled the mechanics I missed. No, but that's okay. <laughs> I like that I'm fueling up the car. We're just like infinite roam mode. Yeah, neat, cool. Oh, wait, sorry. One last thing. One last thing to do. Rain. Of course it's raining. Hello, friendly dumpster. Perfect. One slice of pep. A wee pep. Neat game. Very interesting game. Oh, I need to find out that Steam Chivo I got. Oh, I didn't see. I, th I was hoping it was called like do a barrel roll or something. Hold on. Let me take a look at this. Streets ahead. Complete a run with at least seven junctions. No, long for the ride. Wait, only 7.5% of people equipped Tobias is cryptid? How could they? End of the road, return from the well. I definitely thought I saw a, a Chivo that was like roll out of the well. I thought I saw that. Oh, wait, only 8% of players have finished the game? Okay, that's fair. Right, so 8.4% of people have beat the game, 7.5%. So let's do some math here really quickly. Uh, 8.4 divided by, divided by 7.5. Nope. Uh, 7.5 divided by 8.4. I, I, oh. Hello? That's like 90%. I, I forgot how to make a, a calculator work. All right, everybody, let's call it there. This was great. This was, Spooky and tense, uh, but ultimately a very, very, very interesting journey. And you know what? I feel like I am ready for this road trip. I feel like driving out to Victoria <laughs> on Thursday is going to feel like um, like easy peasy, lemon squeezy in comparison, you know? Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I don't play a lot of games like this, and it's kind of special when we do. This 100% could have been an October spoopy game, but uh, I think I think tying it in to the drive before going to Victoria was kind of cool and kind of neat together. Uh, thank you for all the subs and the bits. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the well wishes with the drive and the move. Uh, a reminder, no streams for at least a week. Uh, I need to spend the next couple days packing and then 15 hours driving and then some time unpacking. But I'm hoping that one week from today, on Monday, April 1st, we will be uh, we'll be back on online and fully operational. You know, fingers crossed that there's no internet issues like like the office had. But yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been delightful. Uh, shout out to the mods. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to all of you. Let's raid Adam. My good bud Adam is uh, streaming some Dragon's Dogma. I've heard really good things about that game, actually. Angry gamer discourse about microtransactions aside, the game looks like it kind of slaps. Uh, gentle reminder that we tend to be very family friendly here. Adam is great, but like you're going to encounter bad words like butts. Just, just know that that's the case. Uh, but he's got a huge heart and I love him a lot. So go say hi. All right. Bye, everybody. See you next time.